the fifth city you can visit is Korogo. And Korogo is the cultural heartland of the Senifo people. And this city is located in the northern part of Côte d'Ivoire. And it's known for its artisan and beautiful, vibrant market. For those who love vibrant market and for those who love to see artistic things, artisan things, who want to see sculpture, want to see how it's been manufactured, it is in this place that you're going to see it. And these people... They actually maintain their culture and tradition. When you go to Ivory Coast, they are the one who shake Ivory Coast the most. I mean, these people, they are so powerful. So for those who are interested in going into spiritual, sorry, not spiritual realm, but for those who love to make a trip into the ancestral world, we want to see how our ancestors came about, how traditions are being done, then this place is for you. Someone who loves to travel, Discover new cities, new environment, meet new people, learn about culture, tradition. Well, my name is Salam Hajara and this is Salam Hajara TV. Today I'll be telling you 10 best cities you can visit in Cote d'Ivoire. And these cities, let me tell you, after listening to how mind-blowing they are, I'm sure you'll still be thinking of what kind of business or what kind of investment I can do in this So the first one I want to talk about. And the first one is Abidjan. Yes, Abidjan is the powerhouse economy of Côte d'Ivoire. And it is the most popular speaking French country in West Africa. And it's also known as the Petit Paris of Africa, meaning the Petit, the small Paris of Africa. And it also has a lot of events that take place in that city it has a lot of people and then a lot of things to do in fact for those who are not introverts i mean those who are extroverts who love to mingle who love to party who love to discover new places i mean jazzy jazzy places this is definitely for you i mean abidjan is definitely for you and abidjan is the economic city of Cote d'Ivoire. It's a powerful city that when you go and then you start to invest, you start to do business in real estate, you are really, really going to make it. It is the city for those who like quiet life. I mean, those who don't really love urban city, those who love to have their quiet time. Yeah, this city is actually for you. And this city is the political capital of Cote d'Ivoire. And this city is Yamsoko. And Yamsoko is a home to the Basilica of Our Lady Peace. The largest, I mean, the largest church in the world is found in this particular city. For those who are lovers of church, who love to go to church, this is actually for you. And for those who are tourist oriented, for those who want to travel, and this place is actually for you. And those who are introverts and want to invest in business, in eco resort business, want to invest in maybe hotel businesses, restaurant businesses, this city is actually for you. The next city is the UNESCO World Heritage Site. For those who love historical stuff, for those who love tradition and culture, this place is actually for you. And those who love serene places, beaches, want to see um, African craft market, want to see things of the olden day, want to see how people have actually preserved the culture and tradition of Africa, then this place is actually for you. And this place, you can actually do a lot of business because there are lots of tourist people who go there, people from different countries who go to this city who actually go to stay there. So imagine if you go to this city and then you establish yourself there, you actually study the people and know how the thing is over there and you start your own business whether food businesses along the coast whether any kind of businesses just go there survey the place and i'm sure you're going to love it and this place is grand basam grand basam has actually maintained its cultural heritage for the longest period of time during the colonial season in Cote d'Ivoire, it was the capital city and before it moved to yeah, I'm so cool. So this is the best city you can actually stay if you are someone who loves historical stuff. This city is located in the southern western part of Ivory Coast and it is the second largest port city in Cote d'Ivoire and it is also a tourist destination and for those who are lovers of environment, for those who want to go into agriculture, in this city they actually plant crops and they plant and they also have 
things they process like cocoa and you know in africa you are the world largest producers of cocoa and for those who want to go into cocoa who want to manufacture their own chocolate businesses this is actually a destination for you to go and do more research on this place and this place also have serene beaches not only does it cultivate not not only does it have a land for cultivation but it also have a beautiful coastline beautiful beaches that you can stay and also enjoy yourself and this place is actually san pedro san pedro is located in the southern western part of Cardiff. for those who are interested in eco tourism and those who love to see beautiful things this place is actually for you and this place is actually the second largest city in Cote d'Ivoire and it's known for its beautiful destination for tourist people and also for education but they always take education very serious in this city and I'm sure you would love to discover this city. This city is Boake. For those who are interested in building up their own restaurant, their own um, I mean, eco tourist center. This is a beautiful place for you to actually be here. And they have a festival they always do. That is the Bouaké Carnival. It's an annual festival that you can witness and see how the people actually practice their culture and tradition. And most of the people from here, some of them are Akan people. And you know, in in here in Ghana, we have Akan people as well. So for you who want to trace your lineage back to Cote d'Ivoire or want to see other Akans in Cote d'Ivoire, then this is the best place for you to go and visit. And also, who knows, you might end up staying there and also doing your business. In this particular city, this city is actually referred to as the city of mountain. It has a picturesque waterfall and it also has a hill called the Tura Hill and also the awe inspiring La Cascade. And for those who love to visit that place to want to see maybe their tradition, some of the festival they actually do over there is the Mask and the Dance Festival. And this is actually an annual festival that you can visit. And this place is a place for the Yakuba people. For those in Ivory Coast, when you say Yakuba people, you know the people I'm talking about and you know the exact place they come from. So I'm just going to be telling you where these people are from. They are from Ma. Yes, we call it ma, not man. Don't say man, we call it ma. So man is referred to as the mountain, yeah, a city of mountain. For those who want to discover this beautiful city, then you are welcome to this beautiful city. You can visit this city and I'm sure you're going to love their culture and tradition. Dalua. Dalua is a dynamic city situated in the central western part of Ivory Coast and is a key player in the agriculture sector, particularly known for its cocoa production. For those who want to go into cocoa production, who want to go into chocolate, as I've said before, this is another vibrant place you can actually start this kind of business. And Dalwa is a countryside Dallas, and Dallas countryside offers up close experience with the Ivorian rural life and ecotourism. For those who want to discover Ivorian rural life, mostly we show you the city, we don't show you the rural place. Yeah, this is the best place for you to go and discover. This is the best place for you to go and discover that place. Discover how rural life in Ivy Coast is, and this is the best place for you to visit. And this is Dalwa. And it also have opportunities surrounding its landscape, guys. Well, I wanted to visit this place. Yes. And they also have festival, and their festival is also the mask festival, just like the Yakuba people, the man people that we are then grew. Yes, it is called Abenguru. That is the name of this beautiful city. This beautiful city is the royal city or a royal heritage of the Abenguru people. And this city is actually a home for the Inzima people. And the famous festival they do over there is the Dipri festivals. And they also have a night of trance and mystery and it's located in the east region of ivory coast and they also have businesses like cocoa businesses you see i told you we are the largest producers of cocoa so any city that you go you see cocoa we always talk about cocoa and the last city 
the last city of all that I'll be talking about today, it is Abuaso. Abuaso shares border with Ivory Coast, just some two hours or one hour, 30 minutes from the border town on the way before you go to Elbo. So for those who want to be closer to Ivory Coast and you want to be closer to Ghana, this is the best place for you to actually stay. So guys, I do hope you enjoyed this beautiful video and you've learned a lot about the cities in Cote d'Ivoire and I'm sure from among the cities I've talked about, there's one particular one that is actually in your eyes that I'm sure you would love to visit and know more about it. So come to Ivory Coast, visit Africa, visit West Africa. You are going to enjoy your stay. And let me tell you, I didn't even talk about the food over there. In fact, I will make sure I do a video about the food over there and I'm sure you're going to love it. So guys, it's still me, Salam Hajara. Do well to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me see you in my next video. But don't forget, Shit.